So I was just up in the permaculture orchard doing my cattle and chicken chores and I came back down here to check on the ducks and geese and see how they were doing and feed them. And you'll never believe what I just found. I know, we got little goslings. This mama goose hatched out, looks like four or five goslings. Wow, good job, mama. They seem like they're doing pretty well. They look like they're about a day and a half old. Everybody seems healthy. Now I will admit I'm a little concerned about having her out and loose. If you guys are wondering where her nest was, let me show it to you. I don't know if you guys recall, but we had that one mama goose who was hatching goslings underneath these stairs. And so that mama goose is that same goose. You can actually see in there, sadly, there was one egg that didn't totally hatch. I bet you the mom ate the rest of the shells for the other ones. I found that whenever geese hatch out their own young ones naturally, the first thing they eat is the shell from their babies. Now you'll notice I've locked up Abby in her area. Because quite frankly, I don't trust her not to try to snatch one in her mouth and all it would take is one bite and she'd kill it. I love you, sweetie, I really do, but unfortunately, you can't be trusted yet with the goslings. But meanwhile, Toby Dog is actually standing guard over this mama goose, trying to make sure others don't harass. And as you can see, there are some of the other geese that are very interested in her. What I think I want to do to keep them safe and growing up happy and healthy is I'm going to turn this space that I have here into a nursery. I've used it in the past to raise ducklings with mama ducks. I think it'll serve great for at least a couple of weeks. Then they'll actually go out into the wild. Now the challenge is gonna be how to hurt them. Come on, mama goose. I don't want you going in the hoop coop. Actually, I have a better idea on how to do this. The trick is moving her. Once I've got her moved, moving the little ones is gonna be easy. Toby Dog, you're doing such a good job as protector. I'm so proud of you, man. You do so good at this stuff. <laughs> Hang on, Mama Goose. This is just temporary. This is just temporary. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. All right, now we're gonna put you in here. Hang on. In you go, girl. There you go. Right back with your little ones. Hang on. You? I may have to take them one at a time. All the other geese are getting really protective, too. Here's your little one. Don't worry, you two. You're going back with your mom as well. Here you go. All right, now I gotta get the last two. Oh, Toby, you wanna say hi? Checking them out, sniffing them over. Here you go. Whole family's reunited. Now let me get you set up with some stuff. First off, I'm gonna set them up with some straw. You know, I actually wasn't planning on using this as a house today. If I had been, I would have actually already had this part set up. Hopefully they don't get too traumatized. She'll end up taking it and using it for a nest pretty soon. Oh dear, it looks like I had one of the goslings slip underneath that back corner there. I've had this issue in the past when I've raised ducklings in here. I'll have to block that out. Little one, get back underneath there. I'm gonna have to put a board here, keep it blocked up. Okay, we got all five reunited again. Always make sure you grab your bailing twine. You don't want an animal eating it or choking on it. We'll now fill this dish up with food. Now their food is a mixture of nutritional yeast and chick starter that's unmedicated. I like to fill it to the brim like this, as well as put some around the edges so that the little ones learn where they want to get their stuff. Toby, you like standing guard. Uh-oh. <laughs> the teenage goslings are meeting their new sibling. <laughs> They're afraid of the little one. The little one just wants to hang out. Come on, little one. Back in the house. Come on. Come on. Can we get you to go back in? There you go. Reunited. Everybody's all together. Back with mom. All right, let's fix this problem here. I can see this getting old really quick. It's only gonna be a problem for a day or two. With the ducklings, it was a much bigger, longer standing problem. There we go. That should keep them from slipping out. All right, looks like everybody's enjoying their food. Mama and her little ones are getting to eat. 
course, now the thing I'm sure you'd really like is some fresh water. So now typically I would not give goslings a large pool of water like the one you see right here. But because they're with the mama goose, I'm more comfortable with doing that. I'm gonna give them a little straw in the water as well as this rock. This way, if they need to climb out, they can. The biggest risk is if they drown. But I actually think that they're big enough and mobile enough to not even have a problem with that. So they should be fine. I'm gonna leave them alone for a few minutes and we'll check back in with them. You know, they just need their family bonding time. Not like the last 30 days of her sitting on the nest wasn't bonding time enough. Hey, Ginny, I can tell you're really curious about this whole situation as well, huh? Well, I'm gonna keep this door closed so that there's no barn cat access either. <sighs> yeah, when goslings are that small, and this goes for ducks and chicks too, there's just so much risk. And you know, I felt so bad a couple weeks ago when Dottie the white chicken lost her little ones. And I was essentially deciding, hey, let me try to be hands off. But overall, I always find that's a mistake. You know, for example, these four ducks you see right here, they were actually hatched out naturally in the pasture last year. And when their mom first brought them in, I actually kept them in the same nursery over there and they did phenomenally well. As I've done experiments in the past between keeping them separate or keeping them together, what I've found is that keeping them together in a protected space is the best option for having a high likelihood of success. I think I only lost one of the ducklings that we hatched out on the pasture last year. My mortality rate for ducklings, goslings, and chicks that have been naturally hatched out, I think it's like something like ridiculous, like 75% of them have died. You know, letting them go free with the parents, I just find is a mistake. Abby, would you like to come out now? Come on out, you can see what's going on. I know you're super curious about your neighbors across the hall now. See, if you just sit calm like this, or like Mr. Toby Dog there, I'd be very pleased with you. You know, I was personally really, really disappointed when I couldn't get those goslings to hatch naturally earlier this spring. I think if you guys recall, I would mentioned I'd left a couple nests going. One of the nests was that goose under the stairs. The other one is this goose in here. And I've got her in this chicken tractor pretty much ready to go. And my plan will be that if she hatches any out, I'll do the exact same thing that I did with this other mama goose and just create essentially a little nursery space for them. Speaking of nursery spaces, how are my baby gooselings who are really just straight up geese at this point? You don't even have to be in here. You just like being in here. It's kind of funny, right? They are free ranging now 24 seven and can go wherever they like. They still like to go in that nursery. I'm gonna take that access away from them probably in the next day or two. I have to go in there, clean it out, disinfect it and get it ready for the next batch of babies we're gonna have here on the farm. But until then, I'm sure you guys are hungry little monsters. <laughs> How are you doing there, Molly Murder Mittens? You're looking fat and sassy this morning. Eat bread and desserts and just get all fat and sassy. I don't want you eating those goslings either, by the way. It just kind of goes to show you, you can never expect what sort of morning you're gonna have on the farm. Always little curveballs that make things interesting. So I was just able to grab this little one. It really seems like our mama gosling and her little brood are doing well. I was just checking on this one to make sure it was healthy. It seems really strong and healthy, and so I'll put her back in with the rest of the family here. You need another one. Look how good she's being. Yeah, she is a good mommy goose, that's for sure. She's very protective of the babies. She was actually not as hard as I thought to get her in there. So it seems like the whole family is settling in really, really well, and I'm super excited about it. You know, I really thought that the goslings that I had hatched would be the last new goslings we have here on the farm, and I've now been happily proven wrong because of what's happened here this morning. I will also say I'm not totally giving up hope that we might have even a few more goslings show up. You know, I've got that other mother I showed you who's living in the Siskovich chicken tractor, and if you look over there, right underneath the duck house, there's actually still two more moms who are trying to hatch out some eggs. They've only been there for, I think about three weeks. 
So they got a little more time to go to see if they actually successfully hatch. But since the weather's nice and everything's going well right now, I might give them the chance to hatch out. You know, I think I completely gave up on hatching in that last video, but clearly that doesn't seem to be the case. And I'm really curious to see what happens next and if these five little goslings that have hatched here today grow up to be happy and healthy and a part of our farm. So you're just gonna have to keep watching and see what happens next.